So are you still running Windows 10 and getting kind of sick of Microsoft trying to get you to upgrade to Windows 11? Or do you support someone and you don't want them to accidentally upgrade their computer to Windows 11? Well, if this is you, today I'm going to show you how to fix it. Stay tuned. Now, I've heard many people claim that their computer was upgraded to Windows 11 automatically. Now, Microsoft did that with Windows 10, and they got a lot of bad press for it, but I haven't personally seen it with Windows 11. But you know what? That doesn't mean that it's not happening. It's just, I haven't seen it. What I have seen, though, is a lot of deceptive advertising that Microsoft is essentially shoehorning into Windows 10, and I think those automatic upgrades might be explained through people clicking on the wrong thing in that deceptive advertising. So wouldn't it be nice if you could just tell Windows Update once and for all that you don't want Windows 11? It turns out you can do just that, and that's what we're talking about today. But first, I gotta pay some bills. So. Check out today's sponsor. Is your copy of Windows 10 unactivated? Well, it doesn't have to be because with today's sponsor, VIP SCD Key, you can get a valid Windows 10 license for under $20. Stop dealing with that stupid watermark on the desktop, the valid license for Windows 10. Also, with an activated copy of Windows 10, you can upgrade to Windows 11 for free. Just go to the link in the description below and pick up a valid Windows 10 license key. During checkout, use the code CYBERCPU for a 25% discount. Once you have your key, go to your activation settings in Windows 10 and click on the link that says Change Product Key. Enter the product key you just purchased and hit Activate. Now you don't have to deal with that stupid watermark that come with running an unactivated copy of Windows 10. Now, on with the video. So everyone that's on Windows 10 has ultimately turned their computer on one day just to see a full screen ad before you log on telling you that your system's ready to upgrade to Windows 11. And while this is quite annoying, it's also quite deceptive because if you click on anything except for this little link right here, Microsoft will take that to mean that you want Windows 11 and begin downloading the update. Ultimately, I think that's what's happening when people claim that their computer automatically upgraded to Windows 11. I think they didn't click on that little bitty link saying that they wanted to stay on Windows 10. So Windows Update took that as a as permission to upgrade your system to Windows 11. Microsoft also displays these ads right here inside a Windows Update. Now, this isn't as shifty as what Microsoft did in Windows 10, as just upgrading without your permission. No, I don't think it is, but it's kind of close because the problem is once you get that pop-up giving them permission, there's nothing you can do to stop Windows 11 from being installed. Once the upgrade process has started to download, your computer is going to upgrade to Windows 11. You just have to sit back and let the upgrade happen. And once it's finished, you can go to the settings and roll back to Windows 10. But this rollback only works for two weeks. After you're, after that, you're stuck on Windows 11. Unless, of course, you want to do a fresh install of Windows 10. Now, many of us already know to click on that little link to stop Windows Update from upgrading to Windows 11. In fact, typically, if you say no enough times, eventually Microsoft stops bugging you about it. At least, for now, who, throw, who knows what their plans are going to be in the future though. You see, the problem is, is that I build a lot of systems for customers and support these systems for people that aren't exactly the most computer savvy people around. I mean, if they were, they wouldn't be hiring someone to fix their computer for them. And unfortunately, they're the ones that fall victim to this problem the most. Here's the thing, I can't even count how many times I've gone to a customer's house to fix their computer only to find out that it just barely supports Windows 11, and it's running Windows 11. They absolutely hate it, but didn't think they had any other option. Ultimately, the majority of the time this happens, the person is long past the two week grace period to downgrade to Windows 10, and the only option is to either stay on Windows 11 or reload their system with Windows 10. So I found a way to not only stop the nag screens completely out of the gate, but also stop Windows Update from even offering Windows 11 as an upgrade option in the first place. And you know what? It's really not hard to do. In fact, let's jump on the system right here and I'll show you how to do it. 
So here we are in Windows 10 and let me show you real quick. If you go to start, you go to settings and you click on Windows Update. If you look right here, as you can see, this PC can run Windows 11. Great news, your PC meets the minimum system requirements for Windows 11. Specific timing for when it will be offered can vary as we get it ready for you. Well, honestly, I don't want them to get it ready for me. I just don't want it at all. So the way that you get rid of this is relatively simple, but it takes us digging down into the registry a little bit. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and close settings here. We're gonna click on start and we're gonna talk, start reg edit. Say yes to the user account control and this is what you're faced with right here. Now where we're gonna wanna go is local machine and then we scroll down to software. Then from software, we wanna go down to policies and then from policies, we go to Microsoft. Then we go into Windows and then we go down right here to Windows Update. And ultimately there shouldn't be anything in here, but there might be some stuff. And obviously if you don't have the Windows Update key right here, you're gonna to have to create that too. But the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is within Windows Update, we wanna right click, we wanna hit new, and we wanna select a DWORD 32-bit value. And for the name of that, we essentially want it to be called Target Release Version, exactly how I have it typed right here. And I'll go ahead and leave these keys in the description below so you can copy and paste them right from the description. So once you get that named right there, you'd go ahead and double click on it and change the value from zero to one. And what this is telling Windows Update is that there's going to be a target release version that you don't want Windows Update to surpass. Now this is used by businesses to typically to stop a computer from updating to a later build or something to that nature. Like for instance, if a business is on 22H2 and they wanna stay on that and they don't wanna to upgrade to 23H2, they can set the target release version to 22H2 and then Windows will never upgrade it until this setting is changed right here. So it helps businesses kind of control what version of Windows their employees are sitting on. And speaking of that, we have to actually tell Windows Update which target release actually is the one you want. So to do that, we wanna create a new string value. And for the name of that string value, we're gonna call it target release version info. And this is essentially where you're going to enter in the actual release version. And for us, we're gonna do 22 H2 because that's the latest version of Windows 10. Now, I don't believe there's going to be another build update for Windows 10. I think 22H2 is gonna be it. This is the last one. However, if for some reason Microsoft does release a 23H2 or a 24H2 for Windows 10, then you'll have to change this. So in the future, if that becomes an issue, then you'll have to change this to whatever the current version of Windows 10 is at the time. But I don't think there is going to be one. I think 22H2 is going to be the end. So with that said, we enter 22H2 in here and we move on to the next step. And once we get this, we just go ahead and hit OK. And as you can see, it says 22H2 as the target release version. And then the next setting we're gonna change, and this one's real important to keep us on Windows 10 itself. And that's going to be a new string value. And then for the name of the string value, we're gonna name it product version. And product version, obviously, in this case, is going to be Windows 10 because we don't want Windows 11. So we go ahead and hit OK and it'll set the product version to Windows 10. So Windows Update won't upgrade it to any newer product versions. And then if this is something that you wanna to do to multiple systems, like for instance, if you want this to be on all of your customer systems or you have a business and you wanna stop Windows 11 from upgrading any of the computers in your business, then what you can do is you can actually right click on Windows Update right here. You can hit Export. And then from here, I would typically choose the desktop or somewhere else where you wanna save this file and then name it something that's fairly descriptive. Like for, we'll do Windows 11 update stop. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and hit save. And as you can see, you have this little registry file. And if you run this registry file, it will add all of these keys into your registry so you don't have to go through and manually update this at a later time. But now that we have these entered, what we can do is we can go ahead and click on start, go to settings, go into Windows Update, and as you can see, no more advertising for Windows 11, and as you can see, it says some settings are managed by your organization. Now, if we click here to view which policies those are, you can see that it is the target release version and the target product version. So Windows Update actually tells you which changes have been made to your Windows Update, so it kind of helps you out. So if you don't know whether or not a system has been modified to not upgrade to Windows 11, you can always go to Windows Update, and you 
you can view right here and see that it actually is. But what this does it more importantly is it also gets rid of all the Windows 11 propaganda. Like, unfortunately, you still have some of these links down here, but you no longer have the advertisements advertising Windows 11. And then, like I said, if you want to install this on multiple different systems, all you do is you just double click on this, hit yes, hit yes again, and it will add this to the registry on any other system. Now, obviously, mine's already here, so there was no reason to do that. But if you want to do this on a different system, that's how you would do it. Now, by using this method, it won't stop someone from manually updating a system to Windows 11. You can still download the Windows Media Creation Tool and install Windows 11 or use an ISO to upgrade your system to Windows 11 as well. All this does is stop Windows Update from installing Windows 11. However, it may cause Windows Update issues in the future if you leave these registry keys in after manually updating a computer to Windows 11. That's simply because we told Windows Update to not upgrade Windows past 22H2. And Windows 11 is already at 23H2 and will soon be at 24H2. So if you do decide to manually upgrade your computer to Windows 11, you might want to go in and remove these registry keys because otherwise you won't get build updates for Windows 11. Also, I don't know if this is going to continue to work after Windows 10 loses support next year. At this point, Microsoft may have more pop-ups and things of that nature that they plan to introduce after end of life. But for right now, this should work great to keep your system on Windows 10, at least for the time being. So if you plan on staying on Windows 10 after end of life and taking advantage of ESU like we talked about last week, then we might want to come up with another solution. But for now, this works great. And if you just don't want to deal with this anymore and you're just going to upgrade to Windows 11 anyway, then check out this video where I show you how to completely revamp the UI of Windows 11. So if it doesn't look the way you want it, just change it. As always, you guys have a great day.